going on guys boxes at home now uh left garbage company going back to uh strictly mobile repair um so i brought the box home do a quick little tour for you um all my chargers up here i'll make sure everything's charged up before i go long snap on sound bar this is a 72 inch uh midnight blue titanium trim um heavy duty diesel mechanic for about 15 years now so i've got a pretty decent collection going this is the top drawer a um, little bit of everything in here try and go pretty quick a couple little boxes here random miscellaneous bullshit Couple tape measures here a little micro torch mac uh, matco mid-length quarter inch shallow deep quarter snap-on shallow deep um three eighths these are nico brand i bought them on amazon they hold up pretty good um shallow mid deep three eighths snap-on half inch nico a couple little uh, odds and ends some long or deep three quarter inch drive um metrics um mac metric hex mac rbrt bits sk quarter inch swivels snap on three eight swivels impact the matco three-piece pocket pry bar kit down here we got uh 10, 12, 13, and 15 snap-on extensions with the wobble socket already built onto them. It's coming pretty nice. Bunch of uh, random extensions down here. Got the Mac um, wheel change kit for cars. This guy here is my little favorite. It's a snap-on um, quarter-inch drive. Takes a little bits. Had that one for years under dash work. It works great. Uh, fell in love with it and couldn't live without it. Bunch of... Uh, Work lights, easy red rechargeable neck light, uh, backup streamlight stinger, um, Sunex um, large e-torx kit. Um, bought these when I was uh, running a heavy tow truck for uh, pulling axles on uh, like uh, charter buses. The Mac um, ball Allen set, standard and metric. Another one by Nico. This is the full. Allen set, stubbies, standard metric. It's the Mac full uh, Torx kit. Um, every freaking Torx you can imagine, pretty much. Um, nice little kit to have, comes in handy. Snap on magnetic bit set. This is the Sun X driveline socket set. Pulling drive shafts, heavy duty trucks. Um, which leads me over to here. Bunch of 12 points. Um, always want to make sure I had what I need to pull drive lines on any type of truck I went after. Um, long drive line sockets, got a 3 8 swivel, half and 12 millimeter, um, both standard or straight and swivel. Um, box of little random sockets there. A couple broken ones that need to be uh, exchanged out. Turbo twist sockets, inch and a half max socket for cat drain plugs. The Pittsburgh three quarter inch, 12 point standard socket set. Uh, snap on extensions down in here. Um, international IPR, old style, new style. Bunch of little random miscellaneous sockets. Uh, pucks for the international high pressure rail. A couple large hexes. Um, sometimes you need just a one-off and can't justify buying a full kit. Um, Snap-on, shallow deep half inch. I know they're chrome. They were on a BOGO. I bought them and, and love them. More than Nico's, shallow deep half inch. Some fill-in, uh, shallow deep three-eighths. Snap-on, deep, mid, shallow three-eighths. And quarter-inch. Uh, a couple little quarter-inch ratchets in here. These old school stubby ratchets, I don't even use them, but my old man gave them to me, so they're still in there. Um, snap on charge air cooler, the longer for pulling clamps, charge air coolers. Quarter inch SAE swivels. All the ratchets. Um, this one came with one of the Nico kits. I've never used it. Same with this one here. There's a snap on, but I've never used a half inch that short. Um, pen handle. The long snap on right there and they actually stripped the gears out in that one 
and didn't have time to meet the Snap-on dealer to get it repaired. So I went to Harbor Freight and got the Icon version and it actually holds up very well. Um, I, I would compare the two equally. Um, Snap-on quarter inch 3H drive. Um, my go-to 3H ratchet. I've had this one for years. I absolutely love it. The Smacko one I got talked into a couple weeks ago and I hate the locking mechanism. Everyone swears by theirs and that one's junk. Long 3H gearless. The long, really long 3H flex everyone loves. Matco 3H torque wrench. Short, old, snap on half inch breaker bar. The uh, transmission style extension. Half inch drive on that end, 3 8 on this one to get your bell housing bolts. Just a long snap on 3 8 extension. The 24 inch snap on comfort grip flex head. Absolutely love this thing. Um, never had an issue with it. She's, she's one of my favorite ratchets. Just bought this guy the other day. The 36 inch snap on um, half inch drive breaker bar. Absolutely love it. Another snap on light. My go to quarter inch ratchet. Um, it's, it gets in where I need to go. I, I have zero complaints with it. That's my, that's my quick grab quarter inch ratchet. Bought this one. Um, thought they were a gimmick when I first saw them. There's a quarter inch drive version. Um, I was doing a uh, Mac MP7 front cover. And it's got a hidden bolt that you can't get anything onto without fighting and cussing. And sh the night foreman had one of these. Let me borrow it. And you set it about that way. And you can get in there and get just enough turn on that bolt. So I, I bought one. And uh, that's it for the top drawer. Let's move on down to the next one. And this is the wrench drawer. A little menagerie in here. Like I told you, I've been doing heavy, heavy line, heavy diesel work for about 15 years, so that's why most of the stuff is what it is. I have the snap-on. These aren't the zero degree offsets, but they, they still come in pretty nice. Um, standard on that on these ones. These are V8 brand. Um, made in China, but they are uh, let's see if we need that. go up to an inch and a quarter for uh, four-way line wrenches. Um, the full set all the way down to 7 sixteenths. Snap on flank drive plus from quarter all the way up to one inch, then an inch and sixteenth to an inch and a quarter. I have these cheap Olympia ones. Um, have zero complaints with them. A couple of crescents back in there. Um, stuff I found, stuff I've accumulated. On the bottom there we have the Blue Point um, servicing belt tool kit. Um, Inch and an eighth cut down for the uh, high pressure drivers, cat motors. Um, here, stubbies, uh, snap on ratcheting stubby wrenches. SAE here, the metric ones over here. Mac uh, flare nut wrenches. Snap on reversible ratchet wrenches. Um, from three quarter down to three eighths. This is just an additional seven eighths that I already have over here. Lawson, go buy another one, then you find your original. Typical. These are uh, just a random pile of extra wrenches I found here and there. Um, don't really do much with. Metric 19 all the way down to 8. Reversible ratcheting wrenches snap on. A Tecton 24 inch wrench. Need a 24. My set doesn't go that big. And uh, bought Tecton and I, I have zero complaints with it. I mean the, the chrome is good. The, it's stout. Uh, she's everything I needed in the wrench and, and I'm happy with it. Plank Drive Plus Snap-On metric go from 7 millimeter all the way to 22 millimeter. The mountain reversible wrenches, metric um, oddball wrenches. Got a couple little Snap-On stubbies in there, but uh, this is just stuff I found over the years. V8 metric four-way wrenches. Um, back here I have the Sun X. Goes from inch and five sixteenths. Leave all the way up to two inch. Um, no complaints with that. Absolutely love that set. Um, use them on big hydraulic lines. And because of the big hydraulic lines, sometimes you can't get in there if you're working over your head. It's a pain in the butt. So one thing I went and did here recently, I went to Harbor Freight and picked up their jumbo 
Now there it is whole four-way wrenches from inch and three-eighths all the way up to two inch and cut them in half so now I have a usable size angle and straight from inch and three-eighths all the way up to two inch um, working on uh, garbage trucks on the uh, hydraulic pumps above your head and hydraulic uh, valve bodies big wrenches get heavy to hang over your head all day long so I bought those and again absolutely love them the next door down screwdriver drawer um, snap on hard handle um, I bought these ones everyone makes fun of me I bought them because I liked them and I've yet to use them so everyone always claims those are the wrenches that don't get used uh, it is what it is I'm a tool collector um, radiator pick set I actually have the flat bill ones on order they just haven't showed up yet um, trim tools to replacing uh, windshields um, snap on ratcheting screwdriver for the bits mini pick set long pick set um, standard nut drivers um, impact driver a um, bunch of little fine tooth screwdrivers a couple of uh, Schrader valve tools snap on and some oddball no name whatever um, my go to hose hook use that all the time um, guy was throwing away a toolbox and he had all these snap-on uh, metric nut drivers in it. I've yet to use them, but you know, I'll take them. You know, I've never turned down free tools. Um, long shank for the ratcheting screwdriver and the mini ratcheting screwdriver. Um, snap-on uh, long cabinet style screwdrivers. Um, Torx drivers. Snap-on. The micro screwdrivers that come in handy when you're doing little fine electrical work long wood handle screwdriver back there in the back I've never used it um, it was one of my father's again some more screwdrivers I've just found laying around um, windshield install tool um, this right here for everyone that wants to bitch and complain about doing big truck brakes this is the easiest way I've ever found to put the springs on big truck brakes uh, put your big spring in first take this hook end just take a cheap screwdriver grind it down grab the little spring and it pops right in. Um, for the longest time, that's the way I was taught. Thought I was the only one that did it that way. A buddy of mine, we were talking about brakes one day and he does it the exact same way. You can't go wrong. Um, soft handle, snap-on screwdrivers. Not a fan of these, but these do get used a little bit more than the hard handle ones. Plier drawer. Oh shit, drawer. <laughs> snap on uh, seven piece snap ring pliers blue point tubing cutter um, ratchet and crimper somebody gave to me don't even really use it uh, flat bill vice grips I've used these for uh, bending roof panels down on trailers and box trucks so you can rivet them in um, long Mac um, pliers and the mini versions um, came in a, a kit one day bought it and uh they work great for what they are um some of them are the little hose ones down here um uh, yeah bought it years ago i don't even remember how many came in the kit or what the price was my old school snap on uh needle nose pliers that i think everyone has had and everyone complains for the same reason because they rust um so this week actually two weeks ago i bought the new ones that everyone has to have. Um, let's see if we can get to focus here. There we go. A um, little bit of. Absolutely love these guys. I was working on getting uh, some airlines off, and again, same uh, same shop foreman. He goes here, try these, use those. Absolutely fell in love with them. Um, long Mac uh, dikes. Um, have those. Tecton. Um, just regular length and mini dikes as well. My favorite uh, flush cuts from Snap-on. You can tell they've taken a beating over the years. Um, nothing but zip ties get cut with those. Um, when I'd loan them out and catch somebody using use them for something other than zip ties, I'd get pretty pissed off. My absolute favorite uh, wire snippers, cutters, crimpers, all in one. Um, again, the rust on them, man. It uh, pain in the ass. But um, when these go bad, I'll probably get replaced with them OCC ones off of uh, Amazon. 
the absolute junkiest vice grips in the world, the snap-on ones. Some bootleg ones I got off of uh, Amazon. And some random cutters, crimpers, and uh, blue point uh, hose pinch-off tools. I got two of them for doing uh, def units. Got two, two hoses. Need to pinch them both off at the same time. Um, little baby uh, channel locks here. Big pair of channel locks. PWZ players, I have the zero ones and twos. I do love these things. These stay on my uh, my truck at all times. That's why they are a little bit worse than everything else. The ratcheting snap-on um, radiator hose plier for the uh, clamps. It works good. It's still not great. Um, then we come over here. Here, these are Nipex, but I bought them off the Matco truck. The pliers wrenches. These are the uh, little short ones, but they come in so handy. Absolutely love these guys. So I went to Harbor Freight and bought the bigger version, the Icon one. Have, have yet to use those, but I do have them. Um, some pipe thread extractors. Um, I have a lot of extractors, some more smaller turbo sockets. Um, Irwin, uh, that's the metric. There's the standard tap and die sets. Snap-on. Um, thread restoring kit um, everyone gets the same kit it doesn't have to be the snap on one this is just what I happen to buy Mac uh, stud pullers standard and metric um, some real real baby small Mac twist sockets um, I love this guy um, they come in handy when you need them Irwin twist sockets like I said I have a bunch of them um, these blue points are the little thin, very thin uh, twist sockets. Only need them one time, but they were there when I need them. Blue point screw extractor set, left handed drill bit set. I think everyone has the same two kits. See a uh, cheap pair of pliers there. Uh, the big Matco uh, tap and die set. Um, love this guy. Um, comes in handy when you absolutely need it. Um, I was working with the Irwin ones for a long time. They did what they needed to do, but there was a few times where they didn't have the exact size I needed, so I splurged when it was on promo last. Got it, and uh, absolutely swear by it. There's a box here of random uh, extractors. A um, little bit of everything in here. I bought these ones on a whim. Coon truck and actually showed these off. They go into a wrench, and they're supposed to um, extract just about anything. I haven't had to use them yet, but I bought them, and um, I'm hoping they work when I do need them. Um, coon trucking is, uh, and they talk about a lot of things, it, it usually tempts me into uh, buying. These guys here, these were uh, something else I saw on YouTube and had to buy. Randomly found them on the uh, shelf on the macro truck the other day and had to jump on them for extractors. Um, nothing I hate worse than getting stuck in. And not being able to uh, finish your job. These are not made by Matco. Um, I don't remember who makes them. It's a uh, five-piece kit. And uh, I have them. <laughs> needed them. I didn't need them. Wanted them. That's one of my wants. Down here to the power tool drawer. Um, yes, I know. Looks like I'm a Snap-on fanboy. 90% um, of my stuff is Snap-on because that is the dealer that's always around. Um, as things do phase out, they will be going to Milwaukee, but right now it's all snap-on. Um, some older stuff in here, a bunch of different blowguns, tire inflator, a uh, gauge, old uh, snap-on 3 8 air ratchet, a uh, bunch of random discs back there on hole saws. I have the quarter-inch bit driver, drill, some batteries, the stubby, or the regular length quarter-inch ratchet. 3 8 impact. Um, actually, this one, this one was mine. The quarter inch driver. This one, somebody gave to me because he didn't like it anymore. There's nothing wrong with it. He just didn't like it. So, sure, I'll take two. The long neck 3 8 ratchet. Tie is, um, but I absolutely love it. It doesn't match everything else. I try and keep things matching, but it works. 14 4 speaker. Um, it works good on a kayak. It works good on a kayak. I'll leave it at that. It's not very loud in the shop. Um, 
the big uh, big battery snap on light um, the brushless half inch gun the old school 3 8 gun stubby 3 8 air gun 3 8 and half inch uh, air snap on that I have never sent out and I've had them since I first started about 15 years ago never had an issue with I've had things that other guys can't get off and they use my half inch gun and it'll break free um, got a Mac right angle air drill back there snap on um, PDR 5A air drill and the big daddy air hammer um, got a couple old uh, blue point grinders in here that I recently swapped out for the BOGO Matco one used them and absolutely love them um, zero complaints with them at all got the uh, buffing pad on one cutting wheel on the other um, damn what, what happened to the uh, the guard I don't know what happened to that next drawer down hammers and pry bars um, got the a giant uh, sledgehammer back in there got a, uh, actually it looks like a tire bar but uh, I had a truck come in that was up in North Georgia and they put a serpentine belt on and I found that laying on top of the valve cover so she's mine now snap on striking head pry bar set the Cornwell um, 36 inch Possibly 48, I don't remember. Um, long handle pry bar. A couple other little pry bars I've found over the years in there. Um, down here, some random, I got a uh, pedal depressor. A couple small, uh, just random pry bars. The snap on indexing head. Um, pretty good size pry bar, I like that one there. Um, a couple random punches. A bar for cabin over uh, cabs on garbage trucks. Got these for doing, or I've made these. Um, here's the angled set, and here's the straight set for doing um, retention springs for a semi-trailer and box truck doors. Um, lady slipper. Um, fifth wheel pin puller down in there. Knee pads, because I'm 35, but every day I feel older and older. Um, Snap-on Deblo hammer set. Um, Snap-on Deblo ball peen. A um, couple little claw hammers you never really know. The Harbor Freight um, ball peen hammer set that I've had for years and I've had zero issues with. Um, this little guy here, one of my favorite little hammers. Not even sure where it came from anymore, but I love that little thing. She's stout, and she's stubby. Got a DeWalt, uh, little small two pound sledge. All right, oh, man, we're taking a while on this one. All right, down here in the bottom. Let's try and get this moving for you. Um, random, uh, Glues, sealants, um, lifting chains, a couple little clamps, snap on uh, starter switch, some C clamps down there, compression tester, uh, or fuel pressure tester for diesel, a um, couple of O ring kits there, spark plug install kit for a Ford, used to have one, needed it. Over here, um, have the uh, bar type puller set um, I actually cut one of these down because it came with two of the exact same size and I need a shorter one one day so screw it I got two cut the bar down um, Harbor Freight two pound slide hammer the 24 inch um, adjustable wrench hacksaw uh, bolt cutters precision instruments three-quarter inch drive torque wrench all my uh, oil filter wrenches Three draw pullers, a um, bunch of bunch of randomness down in there, but it's stuff that uh, is nice to keep keep on hand. Let's go over here real quick. Electrical drawer, my Power Pro butane soldering tool, digital caliper, temp gun, my original. Um, I'm not even gonna call it a multimeter; it's a voltmeter. Box of fluke ends, a bunch of test leads I've made up. Snap on uh, 12 volt test light. Um, the wireless test light in here. It's junk. It will get you into trouble. Stay away. No, no, no. Fluke 88 multimeter. Bunch of fluke leads and the fluke lead set. Stay in there. Oh, here on the edge, I have my monster light. Monsters are no longer in business, but these are great lights. Absolutely love it. A uh, bunch of randomness in here. Um, pressure test for hydraulics, bulk grip puller kit. Bud lug nut uh, wrench. Um, 
homemade eyes for lifting cat heads off. A um, bunch of uh, randomness. Some more randomness in here. Um, from the uh, international recall on the um, deaf sending units. You guys know what those are. After so long, you just stop collecting. Um, cage bolts, large and small. Allen T handles back there. Right in here, UV light. Um, cheap Mac code reader. Um, some more wire testers. Test the seven way plugs for uh, trailer lights. Random scrapers. Um, files. Wire brushes. Um, down in here. Random uh, punches, chisels, all different brands. You got some snap on there, some Mac. Um, torch starter. So, all my files in here. These are uh, roll pin punches. I'm pretty sure these are Matco roll pin punches. Uh, yeah. Um, the Harbor Freight um, punch and chisel set. Works good. Chisel handle, um, or file handle. Um, never used it, but we had a uh, safety meeting at work, and they said we need to start using them, so they provided them for everyone. Last drawer down here. We have a Bendix. Um, Heavy duty code reader. Um, I have a Blue Point Pocket IQ uh, truck code reader. Uh, hat for uh, when it gets sunny out. Those are uh, AC gauges back in there. I got a DeWalt grinder back in there. Um, some random wire, rolls of wire, um, Dremel engraver. I have the Power Probe Micro Torch Kit, um, back brace for doing uh, anything, pretty much any heavy lifting. Um, messed up my back years ago doing big truck brakes, but you can't really tell the boss, no, I'm not doing brakes, so you do what you need to to adapt. Um, this is the Snap-on Cooling System Tester. This is the Power Probe itself kit. And this is the Snap-on Cooling System Refiller. So, that is my box, 15 years, heavy duty diesel tech. Thanks for watching.